Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you are new to the channel and you resonate with my energy, you know what to do. I want to say a very special welcome to those that have recently subscribed. Thank you for your viewership. Thank you for the donations, the bookings, all information you need, including how to give a free chart from a reputable site will be in the description box below. This is a timeless reading. This will be for Libra. So I want to know, Libra, what is happening for you in the next three months? You clicked on this video. There's something here that you need to see. Know that I've already done my meditation and called in the appropriate guidance, protection, and coverage needed for us. I just ask that you be, because tarot is about energy. We got those on a high vibe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those on the low vibe. Somebody needs to say something. Let me, talk, let me say something. And those in the middle. Those striving to be in the middle. Now, with that being said, if you feel like something is not for you, it may not be. But Libra, we're going to go ahead and get into this reading. This energy can resonate with somebody in your environment. Somebody thinking of you, you're thinking of them. A boss, a co-worker, an ex, a past over loved one, a child. Okay? Even a grandparent. So somebody's not open to something here. All right. So in the next three months, for some of you, this is in the past. You weren't open to healing something or you weren't embracing something or someone or someone wasn't embracing you. Now, this is past energy. So we have an eight showing up. Somebody wants some sort of successful uh beginning a reunion i don't know if something happened at a reunion if you're going to a reunion of some sort but <clears throat> excuse me i'm so sorry apologize this is about you bringing your dreams into reality okay some of you are manifesting i do feel like a lot of you have went through a healing period you may be in the process surrendering of surrendering to the divine. Okay. So if somebody feels like their hands is tied. This person may be wanting to reach out to you or vice versa. But again, um, you know, threes is about self-expression, how you express yourself, how other people's, um, may view you as well. Okay. Somebody may want to come together and celebrate with you. I feel like things will be looking up in your love life. Okay. So stay uh, optimistic. Okay. If that is what you're here for. Some of you may be dealing with your polar opposite because that's what I heard. Um, I, I got the yin yang. Okay. So some of you may need to come in to balance with yourself. You may be moving on for something that it was toxic in nature. This could be a person, place, or thing. Yeah, definitely, I do feel that for you, Libra. So here we have the rebirth, and we have follow your dreams. So some of you are stepping out into a new venture, okay? So I do feel like um, those of you that have went through your healing period, you are manifesting on a rapid pace here. What is this? It's jumping out my hand. What is this? We have, yeah, we have the high priestess, the full card, and Jupiter. I do feel, I, I heard prophetess, okay? You could be into divination. Some of you may have a crystal ball. Some of you could even have a little white dog or some little dog because that's standing out here. But Jupiter is speaking about expansion, growth. Some of you may feel like you gained some weight. You may be wanting to go work out or you may be in the process of working out. But I do feel like your sixth sense is opening up. You, you are becoming more balanced, okay? If this is not you, this is somebody that you may be thinking of. They could be I heard uh, a Pisces, but a Sagittarius, a Pisces, Cancer, and the full card is Aquarius. We have also on the table Surrender, which is giving me fire. So some of you may have fire in your chart and uh, strong uh, water, okay, emotion. Somebody is in their feelings, possibly because it's the holidays now. Remember, this is a timeless reading. Okay, so I'm being told to take this. So, again, I feel like some of you are working on your health or you're focusing, um, you know, <clears throat> on bringing things full circle. Again, I do feel like somebody's working out or wants to work out. On the flip side, the Sagittarius that's in your energy, they may be experiencing some sort of health issues. Okay, somebody could have a drinking problem. My candle is clicking, popping. Okay. 
somebody feels like you know too much about them. That's what I get with the health and the temperance here. Sagittarius energy, star card, Aquarius. Yeah, if somebody feels like you know too much about them, this person is angry. Okay. For some of you, they could even be contacting some sort of high priest, high priest, uh, I priestess, okay, so there's going to be some sort of judgment. Some of you may have been spiritually attacked in the past. You felt this, you sensed this. You could have Taurus, why I say Taurus, well, we've seen Taurus. You could have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody that's doing something undercover. Okay, so somebody that is skilled in manipulation. Some of you may be dealing with somebody sending you nature spirits, I'm hearing. Okay, some of you do feel spiritually attacked. You may be seeing shadow figures or something like that. It's because of this uh, transformation you're going through um, caused or induced by this high priest. A lot of you know this is my high priest card. This is a male, but it could be a female. Yeah, right. So I feel like this is a black widow. I'm just going to keep it behind it. A black widow and maybe, um, I heard a shaman. Okay. So this person could be like, uh, what is, what they call a Sangoma. This is somebody that's that can heal you, kill you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> with the Mars in, um, energy, this is representing the patriarch. Ooh, the patriarch here. So somebody's fighting some sort of addiction or some sort of a, addictive um, behavior or addictive person. You could even be um, in a spiritual battle with a Capricorn, which is the devil. Okay, so you may be confronting some things within. Yeah, that's what I feel like. Yeah, somebody's confronting something that is very toxic in nature, something that keeps you bound with the world card. Now, this could also be somebody trying to put some sort of cord of attachment onto you. I do feel that. Where is Libra? Libra, Libra. Yeah, some of you made a judgment call and you let somebody go. We have Libra right here, so there you go. So it says that you put an end to something or you will be, and there's there's going to be a rapid transformation. This could have something to do with your spirituality, okay? For some of you, it could be a partnership, a marriage. You could be getting together with someone or finally deciding to let someone go. It seems like this is going to be fast. All right, let's see. We don't really have no dark cards here. Why is Jupiter here? Give me Jupiter. Give me the energy for Jupiter. Yeah, we have this emperor that took their dear sweet time. Okay, some of you is taking your dear sweet time manifesting your business, right? So for a lot of you, this is regarding your finances, okay? So some of you may have went to school, gained some sort of knowledge, okay? Some of you, again, have some sort of addiction that you are fighting. This could also be a controlling boss, or someone that's just bossy, but you close the cycle, uh, especially if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? Some of you could have traveled, again, so you could have family traveling to see you. Why is the high priestess here for surrender? Okay, okay. So obviously, you do not want this cup. Mm -mm. Somebody may see you as moody and jealous, but I feel like you're following your intuition about somebody that's keeping a secret. This person from the past, want, is, you know, they could be doing some sort of spell work to keep you bound. Either you're doing it or they're doing it, but somebody's doing it. Yeah. Somebody could have some sort of domestic violence issue, whether they're male or female. This definitely is about... Okay. Yeah. For some of you, you have a... You know, you could be like a divine counterpart because we have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. And that, to me, does represent a spiritual couple. This could even be like a spiritual partnership. Some of you, you know, you're not with this person. You may have a, um, a higher purpose here on this planet, but you don't want this cup. You may feel like this person was emotionally manipulative. They may feel like they invested in the wrong person, the wrong things. OK, so in the next three months, this person will be spying on you or trying to gain some sort of information. Some of you are trying to gain some sort of information about investments because I heard Bitcoin or something like that. OK, yeah. King of Pentacles. Some of you <laughs> are boss tycoon. OK, well, damn. Well, shit. <laughs> Would you say it with your chest? <laughs> hmm. Somebody's. <laughs> 
<laughs> Somebody gonna come into a windfall of money in the next three months. <laughs> After that, it's gonna be a windfall of money or a windfall of abundance. Okay. Because you're healing. Whatever, whatever put these ten swords in your back. Okay, here you go. This is you, Libra. Okay. You letting go of some sort of burden. Yeah, somebody was being petty betty around this motherfucker. Okay. You may have got yourself stuck with somebody that may have ooh, some of you got yourself in a little to furkle. You may have set, had sex with somebody that's very childish or somebody from your past. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so why is the fool card here? <laughs> why is the fool card here? Definitely a new beginning. Okay, some of you are going to be partying your ass off. I don't know where you're going. Okay, we reach out. Some of you, some of you are planning trips. I'm just going to keep it winning. I see it. Somebody is like, I do not give zero Fs. No, <laughs> some of you are dating. I do see some of you on a website like uh, inter internet dating or something like that. I don't know. This is a Libra that like to party. I'm just gonna keep it 100. All right. Um, some of you surrender to your calling. Now, some of you are with your spiritual partner. Okay, whether if it's um, like a, a 5D connection. Okay, you could have blocked this person off. Some of you, you know, you have a twin. You may not be dealing with that person. You may feel this person put you in competition. Okay, they may be like watching you um, and feel like they're going to have to compete for your love here. Some of you are going to win some sort of competition. This is crazy. Yeah. Somebody is in suspense here. Okay, this person is waiting. Wait, waiting. There I go. This is this person is watching you. I don't know if you like in a movie or something. Are you gonna be in a movie? This is pretty. I mean, it's really nothing. I just can't. And the next three, in the next three months, you're gonna be the main event. I'm just saying. I, I just, it don't really look. This does not look bad. We have Jupiter here. This is talking about growth and expansion. Okay, you learned some sort of lesson. Okay, some of you went through some sort of healing period. You let go of something, whether if it was person, place, or thing. But look at this: somebody from jail. Somebody could have gotten out of jail. Okay, that could have also been a cycle. Yeah, somebody may have gotten some sort of degree in jail too. Why is this uh, nine of cups here in reverse? Ooh, distorted energy. Ooh, yeah, you like, mm -mm, somebody using that intuition. <laughs> but some of you, um, some of you, you have a spiritual calling and you being called, you're being called to it. We're reaching out. Some of you may be embracing that. Ooh, yeah, you like, mm -mm, this is obstinate, obstinate, headstrong girl. So this is a girl that know they're dealing with the opportunities. And I, that came out for you a while back. I'm going to try to. Put that in one of these cards here. Okay, you know you're dealing with the opportunities. So, uh, opportunities. What the? Uh, opportunists. Just do it. This person, <laughs> this person is all back there watching. Okay, you know that this person is a karmic here. Look, karmic is bored. Heads up. Leviticus 1911 ESV version. You may want to check that out. The Great Deception. Some of you... Some of you, you know, you in a, in a marriage. Somebody, I don't know. I don't. Is somebody trying to leave a partnership to be with you? Ooh, this look messy. Look, this we got toxic. The toxic codependent connection, karmic soul. Child, somebody from your past wants you, but you have like a spiritual call and a higher call. And some of you, you learned your lesson. You do not want to be back with someone. Others of you, you know that you want to be out of a connection. This could also be a job. Somebody you need to, somebody is supposed to hire a boss tycoon. Somebody's supposed to be an entrepreneur. Okay. Why is, why is the hierophant here? Now I want to know. Karmic woman, lust, loyal to self, will sleep with anyone, including family, yours or theirs. Okay, you know that third cousin, fourth cousin, fifth cousin. Ooh, somebody can see you as an opportunist. I'm just gonna keep it 100, especially if you are in a third party. Ooh, 
Ooh, some of y'all gonna be doing the group thing. Ooh, y'all nasty. Why is three of cups here? Ooh, I'm nosy. <laughs> It's a whole bunch of karmic energy running around the thing now. Uh, -uh. maybe that's just y'all partying. I don't. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know. Somebody could be going to a '60s or '70s party. The spring. What's that? March, April, May, uh, early June. I mean, this could. Yeah, this could. Yeah, something is gonna be happening. I don't know. Possibly for the summertime for, yeah, the next three yeah, three, three months. What is that? That's around March. Oh, yeah. It says you just got to ignite the light and let it shine. Just on the night like the 4th of July. Child, is y'all having a 4th of July party? I don't know. I don't know. So it's going to be some sort of celebration or somebody who's going to want to come see you, hook up with you. Y'all going to do, um, y'all going to get real toxic. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm seeing somebody with a hangover. I heard that this could be somebody's child, too. I Do it for yourself. So somebody was, very, yeah, somebody was very codependent. For some of you, it is your child. There's some jealousy here. Um, yeah. Some of you are completing the cycle. You learned your lesson possibly about a family member. Why is the world card here? So in the next three months, uh, Libra, you're going to be surrendering to a higher calling, a higher position. Somebody's going to be wanting to, ooh, child, look. Somebody thinking about you. Now, not only is they thinking about you, they're thinking about you in the um, most freakiest of the freakiest they may even be thinking about doing a little do with you this is what came on the floor why did i say came on the floor oh i felt so nasty when i said that oh my goodness look travel i know this person is doing um uh, somebody is ricky ricky and nicky icky over you they just ricky ricky I just like final destination, right? You know, usually this my final destination means it's all bad for somebody, but this is somebody traveling to another city, another state, country, okay? And you leaving something or someone behind. You know that this was a lesson, okay? Because 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 Jupiter is all about lessons. Okay, and usually the lesson that Jupiter teaches you is nothing in excess. So that means no, no partying too much, no drinking too much, no screwing too much, no, no, because this is gonna affect somebody's health here. Somebody possibly didn't think that you were gonna leave a situation. Okay, so we got regulates the stars, season the actions of all mortals and deities, hidden emotions, a stroke, a heart. Attack possibly a split between male and female energies. Okay, so this is now if somebody has an addiction, some of you are in empathic, you may be feeling that. Okay, you may be feeling this person's aches and pains. For some of you, this is in the past, but this is a cycle that you need to complete. Like somebody needs to surrender. I feel like there's going to be a choice that you have to make in the next three months, but whatever this choice is, you're going to be celebrating after. Okay, whether if you're with someone or alone. So I'm being told to end it there. Let's see what power animal we can get for you. Either show me what it is I need to see for Libra. Oh, Libra, yours was juicy and, and nice. No, not nice, nasty. It was nice. You slipping with you're swimming with the shark. Somebody got a new idea, so you need to guard that. Shark Tank could be a favorite show for somebody, but you know you got some sharks around you, so you're gonna have to watch your environment. Okay. What is this right here? This is purpose. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
somebody can see you as really cutthroat or you see somebody um, as cutthroat, but I feel like you're going at the, you're bashing and swimming, swimming with the sharks give me like really uh, ball, that do give me boss tycoon energy. I'm just going to say that. So maybe you are somebody that can handle that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody can. But the butterfly here, there's definitely a transformation. You're stepping into some sort of calling here. But make sure to watch out for opportunists. And Libra, I hope that's not you. Somebody could be coming in trying to, you know, trap you with sex. If you're a woman, you don't have any children, I would strap up. Uh, somebody could be trying to infiltrate your marriage. Some of you feel that. It's going to resonate different for everyone. And others of you, you have, if you're single, you have someone that's, you know, doing a little shaky, you, you know what I'm saying? Trying to call you in energetically. For some of you, you could have met this person at a party or you will meet this person at a party. Okay. Fruit, bat, and flying fox. Now, child, don't eat no exotic fruit. Why do I got to, why did that? Something about exotic fruit. I don't know if they want to eat your exotic fruit. <laughs> but I wouldn't eat it. I'm just saying. I don't, somebody don't need to eat no fruit. I don't. Oh, let me move on, child. Just I can't. Can I get any more messages for Libra? They upside down, child. You know what? This came out last night. Somebody could be dealing with the Gemini, okay? Or you could be writing a book, a screenplay, or something like that. Some of you, you, somebody could be tapping into your Akashic Records. <clears throat> you see how that just came up? <coughs> they don't want me to speak about it. <coughs> Somebody's tapping into your Akashic Records here. Um, now, this could be actual records where somebody is doing a background check, or this could be somebody trying to interpret your chart here. Okay, that's why we got swimming with the sharks. So, you're going to be around a lot of opportunists. That's why I feel like it's a competition or something. Somebody, I don't know if you are in a competition or somebody's trying to put you in a competition, but it's seeing to stay in that high vibration. You have Archangel Joy Fell here you, to assist you in the next three months as well as Archangel Gabrielle, okay? So this is about you building self-esteem and you stepping into your creative passion, having that courage to move forward, okay? Some of you, if you are tired, you may need to get some sleep, so be mindful of that because there's definitely a rebirth here. Mother Mary, yeah, this is saying keep the faith. Lakishmi, who had that? I forgot who had Lakishmi. But, yeah, I don't know. If you have your birth chart, you know what's in your sun, your moon, your rising. Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Venus, and South Node, uh, as well as North Node. You may want to check those readings out, okay? Hope you enjoyed your reading. I'll see you later.